Hi Aries, I'm Jennifer. This is going to be your reading for the end of August going into September. Find out what messages spirits have, have for you. I'm just going to shuffle one more time. Okay, Aries, we have the Queen of Pentacles. This is showing up as your energy. Um, I'm seeing here the Queen of Pentacles is very loving, giving, kind energy. You may be, also this can be um, like a new job or something that gives you good financial security if you don't already have this. This is stability. So there could be a new job coming in for you. And then I'm have I have six of pentacles. This is also a financial gain. And I'm seeing some type of commitment showing up here with the hierophant. So this is why I'm kind of feeling like there is a new job showing up for someone out there that is going to be very good. Something that you're going after with the Queen of Wands energy. I have the King and the Queen of Pentacles. You could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, or starting up your own business. And I have Leo energy here with the Strength card, so this is... um. you having the courage but i feel like you're not even you're so focused on what you're doing that you don't even feel like you know that it's difficult because i'm seeing this is something that you're very passionate about what's happening with aries now i'm just really getting a financial reading for you here Aries you may be single but I'm seeing you being very abundant and again material gain coming in it's like you're perfectly happy on your own and the ace of wands there will be a message coming in and this is going to be very exciting it's going to be a very exciting message has something to do with this what I'm seeing here with your career or a commitment in the career and then I have the two of wands so I feel like you're standing at a crossroads in your life um, choosing a new path I'm gonna go back and clarify the cards now why is the Queen of Pentacles here Seeing a lot of messages coming in for you. It's like something's happening quickly here. And there could be an ending. I have Gemini energy with the lovers and the Ten of Swords. So there should there could be something happening very quickly. Some type of an ending and a connection with someone that you have here. Someone that you care about. And I'm seeing things happening very quickly here it's like you've you've been through a tornado there's like a tornado in the background it's a connection where there's no equal give and take here why is the six of pentacles here I have the three of wands
Now we have the King and the Queen of Wands. I feel like um, like there's someone else showing up here, but we'll see as we go through the reading. It's like this is also you moving forward. It's like nothing's stopping you. <clears throat> Seeing you going after something with a lot of passion. I have the Ten of Cups and the Three of Wands. Sitting, <clears throat> let's see, the Ten of Cups, happy home, happy family. It's like, <clears throat> I'm feeling kind of like things, something went too far in a connection with someone. And there could be a family here, but it's like something went too far. There was some type of a betrayal where there was happiness. Why is the Hierophant here? There's someone here that you have a lot of love for. But I'm seeing you moving into calmer water. It's like you could be the boss with the emperor energy showing up here. You could be moving up in position in your job. And then I have the queen of cups, so... It's like you're really investing a lot into some type of a commitment here. And I'm seeing you moving up. Why is the King of Pentacles here? I have Pisces energy with the High Priestess. I feel like there is something hidden behind the veil here that you're not seeing. Um, I'm seeing you moving forward, making a decision and moving forward on something. Why is the strength card here? It's like you taking control and moving towards a wish fulfillment. See, some type of commitment I'm seeing you moving towards. And it is taking you to have, like, self-control. Why is the Queen of Wands here? Ace of Pentacles, Nine of Cups. It's like this Ace of Pentacles is the beginning of something, and it has to do with your career again. I'm seeing you starting something that's a wish fulfillment. And it comes in for you. I'm seeing you here single. It's like you're going, you could be dealing with a cancer. I have the chariot again. It's like you're going from a place of feeling like this, feeling stuck and st stuck in your mind. It's like you're feeling like your hands are tied and you're stuck is what I keep getting. Like you can't do anything about a situation, but I'm seeing you going from that energy to actually taking control and moving forward very quickly. And this is good news, the Knight of Pentacles. This is like a new job. <clears throat> There's something here that's going to give you a lot of financial gain that you're very passionate about. Why is the Ace of Wands here? See? 
there's a message coming in some type of exciting message why is the two of wands here and so i'm seeing you leaving something behind because at the beginning of the reading there's this ten of swords there's a painful ending here but you end up starting down a new path because it's like you're feeling stuck in a way in one situation but you're standing at a crossroads in your life choosing a new path and um it becomes huge there's like exciting messages coming in a wish fulfillment coming in and so use your intuition see options there's a lot of options here but a lot of times this is telling us when there's a lot of options to choose one and focus on it because this could stall you if you're focused on too many options there's a particular option that needs your focus right now and then we have the four of pentacles so you could be like um holding on to your money right now but with the death card at the end of the deck it's like you're going from you're making moves really quickly here i have scorpio energy with the death card and you could be feeling sad over some type of loss with the five of cups but there's a brand new beginning starting for you with the ace of wands something very exciting that's going to make you very happy okay so let's get to you an angel oracle card what does Aries need to know? Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. So there could be someone from your past returning to your life. Someone where you were in a committed relationship. I am seeing a lot of messages coming in. Healing family issues, your love life benefits as you re, um, if as you forgive your parents. So there could be something to do with kids here. I'm seeing a family, and this is a past life relationship. You have known each other before. Separation, time apart from your partners on the horizon. I feel like you're in separation right now because I am seeing there's like some some type of betrayal showing up at the top of your reading here with the Ten of Swords and the Lovers here. There's a choice to be made. There's a lot of messages, something happening very quickly. And they're saying heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. <clears throat> and let me get a moonology card for you what does Aries need to know they're saying adjustments are required And a time to give rather than take. And on the bottom of the deck, <coughs> conclusions are within reach. Okay, Aries, so these are the messages spirits have for you. I hope they help and bring you clarification. And thank you so much for liking and subscribing. And I will see you guys later. Bye, Aries.